that if you have not muted yourself, go ahead and keep yourself on mute. This is a meeting style that we're hosting tonight rather than a webinar. So if you do unmute yourself, we will be able to hear you. <laughs> so please feel free to keep yourselves on mute. Um, if you have questions throughout the hour, feel welcome to drop them in the chat. We have admissions counselors monitoring those questions. You can also direct message an admissions counselor who's on the call tonight, and you'll know who we are because UMC is right in front of our names. So just in case our background doesn't necessarily have UMC um, showing, you can just find our names with, uh, that start with UMC. We're happy to ask those or answer those questions, excuse me. Um, for those of you who are still joining, we're just going through a couple of housekeeping items. Um, and Amberly has changed the slide to show this. So if you'd rather read through that, that's on your screen right now as well. So feel welcome to chat. Um, I'm just gonna do a, a brief welcome for everybody, introduce myself and I'll have our team introduce themselves. And then we're gonna walk through a couple of these next steps. So this presentation or this meeting is really only about an hour. We don't wanna ne necessarily keep you on a Zoom call for more than an hour because everybody knows how frustrating that can be. So um, to kick us off, thank you so very much for joining us tonight. Um, we are happy to be able to congratulate you on your admission to the University of Minnesota Crookston. I know a lot of you have potentially already confirmed your, your choice and your decision to come to UMC for fall 2022. And others of you are joining us and trying to still make that final decision of where you wanna enroll for the fall. And that is completely okay. So hopefully this will help answer some questions. Um, maybe get you familiar with some of your incoming classmates' names, meet a couple people if that works out. We will have breakout rooms where you'll get to speak with your um, professors in your specific departments. Um, so if you have questions for those individuals, you can save them until later. I'm just realizing that I didn't actually tell you who I am. <laughs> but my name is Katie Metasuski. I am the Director of Admissions at the U University of Minnesota Crookston. And um, again, I just want to say a very brief, brief but heartfelt welcome and a sincere thank you for being online with us tonight. I know it's always a little different when you're experiencing such an exciting thing as being admitted to a university in a virtual format, but um, we also understand not everyone can just hop in the car or hop in a plane and jump over to campus for a quick hour long meeting. So this is um, a nice platform for us to still be able to connect with everybody. I'm gonna have my team introduce themselves and I'll just kind of start with Rob, if you wanna say hello and who you are. Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Virtual Admin. Uh, my name is Rob Glarum and I'm one of the admissions counselors here at University of Minnesota Princeton. Thanks Rob. Jane, do you wanna kick it off next? For sure. So my name is Jane Strand. I am also an admissions counselor here at the University of Minnesota Crookston, and I'm also an alumni. Feel free to shoot some of those questions my way. Lovely. Um, and Paul, and then after Paul, I'll hand it over to Amberly so that we can kind of walk through next steps and keep our, our meeting going forward. Hi there. My name is Paul Adelman, and I'm an admissions counselor as well. All right, and good afternoon or evening, I guess. Here we are at seven o'clock. Um, everyone, my name is Amberly Cox, and I am the Assistant Director of Recruitment for the Office of Admissions. So again, welcome. Um, one more thing I'm going to just quick mention, because I know a few of you might have jumped in at the end. If you can please change your name on your Zoom account, you'll click um, kind of over by your picture that says your name and there's three little dots in the upper right hand corner and then you can click rename. Um, and if you could just please put your first and your last name in your Zoom name, that will help us make sure that we can match up you with the correct breakout room and major that when you registered um, so that we are sure to be able to get you guys in those correct rooms later on this evening. So a little bit of a quick schedule of events. Again, we hope that this will be um, a super knowledgeable event for you guys, that you can learn some things. But again, we're also um, don't want to keep you all night long. So it'll be kind of short and sweet. But our schedule of events here for tonight are what happens next? What are your next steps as a student, no matter if you have decided if Kirkston is the place you want to come this fall? 
or if you're still in that college decision-making process. Um, and then we will do a current Crookston student panel. So I have invited some of our current Crookston students to come and join us as well. And we can ask them some questions to get that current student perspective. And then at the end of, or kind of about the halfway point at about 7.30, we will be breaking you up into breakout sessions, again, based on that major that either you have applied with or when you registered, if you um, registered with something different, we will put you into major breakout room sessions. In those sessions as well, we will have some faculty, um, some lab staff, some current students who are in those majors to be able to help answer those specific questions about, that you might have um, with whether it's what classes you're going to take next year, um, what type of jobs are your alumni getting, what type of internships are your current students getting, anything like that that's a little bit more major specific. So again, that chat is definitely open. Um, if you have any private individual questions that you want to ask one of our admissions counselors, again, you can privately message somebody who has the UMC in front of their name. Um, otherwise, when we get to that current student panel, we'll be looking for lots of live questions from you guys as well. And you can either send them to me or you can send them on the public chat as well. So to kind of kick things off, we're going to go over your next steps. So what happens next? Again, this event, we want to make sure that it is everything that you want to learn about. If there is a question you have, we wanna make sure that we can get you that answer here tonight. So for those of you who are admitted to Crookston but have not quite made that full admissions decision yet um, and you're still deciding on Crookston, that's great. This is a great place to be this time of year. Um, we wanna make sure especially that we get your questions answered as far as what it's like to be a Golden Eagle student at the University of Minnesota, Minnesota Crookston, <laughs> excuse me. Once you have decided that Crookston is where you want to attend this fall, what you're gonna do is you're gonna log back into your student account and you're gonna pay your enrollment deposit. That is our way of knowing that we can start sending you information on housing and information on class registration for the fall. So again, once you decide, to commit to Crookston, log into your student account, pay that enrollment deposit, and then you will automatically be added into our SOAR, which I'll explain what SOAR is in a minute, and gain access into housing. So that would be your first step if you are still deciding or have made that decision recently that Crookston is where you want to come. Now, for those of you who have already decided that Crookston is where you want to come for fall 2022, um, you will have received an email at the beginning of April, I believe it was sent out last Monday, April 4th, about SOAR. SOAR is our Student Orientation, Advisement, and Registration Process. What this is, is it's an online program. It is what we call a Canvas course. Canvas is our website that our classes use for when you're a current student and right now, even as you're getting ready to be a current student. And it's an online program that's pretty short and sweet. It's designed to be completed in about 30 minutes. And it has different like modules that you'll go through. Each module has a topic and it's set up as like a frequently asked question topic. Um, so there are everything from frequently asked questions about financial aid, class registration, how to pay your tuition bill, what happens if you need to make a change in a class, how do I use my meal plan, um, what do I bring for housing? So it's set up as an online module with different topics for you to go through and learn about. But the nice thing is that you will actually have a reference to this module for the entire first semester of your time at Crookston. So you can use that as a resource anytime through your first semester to go back. If you have a question halfway through the semester, if you're like, I don't really remember how that works, you will have access to SOAR for all of fall semester. You must complete this and don't worry, again, it's short. We're not gonna quiz you on anything at the end. This is purely for your knowledge, but you must complete it in order to gain access to making an advising appointment. So once you complete the SOAR online, you will be brought up to another registration form and a calendar for you to pick a date and a time for you to sit down with an advisor and register for your fall class especially for your first semester here at Crookston, you will definitely want to be able to sit down with someone, talk about what classes you've already taken, 
um, in high school, maybe if you have any transfer credits coming in for our transfer students, what that, what your previous academic history looks like and get you registered for fall classes. These advisor appointments will be done virtually over Zoom. So there is no need to come back to campus if you've already been here before. Um, and again, those are pretty short and sweet as well, about 30 to 45 minutes for those advising appointments. The advising appointment calendar starts in June. There are dates in June, July, and August. So you will have all summer to pick a date depending on what works best with your summer schedule. And once you are done with that, then you are registered for classes for fall 2022. So again, you should have received an email last week, Monday, um, if you have already paid your enrollment deposit. If you have not paid your enrollment deposit yet, you will get that email after you pay it. Um, if for some reason you cannot find that email in your inbox or you think you should have received it but don't remember receiving it or changed an email address, anything like that, feel free to private message one of us with our UMC name and we'll make sure to take down your name and um, look up your student record, see if you have paid your enrollment deposit or let you know what email address that email did go to. Um, this is going to go to your personal email address that you applied with. An extra little side note is here this summer, you will start to receive some emails in your official University of Minnesota email address. So you'll wanna go ahead and get your official University of Minnesota email address activated. And with that, start checking it at least once a week starting now. Um, there will be some financial aid information that will go out this summer that is only sent to your university email. There will be some housing information that will be sent to your university email. So it's something good to start getting in the habit of checking um, once a week. We're not going to send you daily stuff there yet um, until you are a full-time student on campus, um, but do get in the habit this summer of checking that one. because Some information will only be sent there. And then my last little tidbit of information for you all, a couple big save the dates for this summer. If you are a new first year student, your move-in day is Thursday, August 25th. So go ahead, put that in your phone right now, circle it on the calendar, start telling um, parents or siblings, hey, I'm moving into college on Thursday, August 25th. If you are a transfer student, um, you will be moving on to campus for Transition Crookston on Sunday, August 28th. Again, that Transition Crookston is for our transfer students who have had a little bit of a college experience before. You will be moving in on Sunday, August 28th. And then first day of classes for everybody is Monday, August 29th. So kind of another big day to circle and put on your calendar. So those are our big summer dates as well. Um, if you have not visited campus before, we will be offering campus visits all summer. Um, so feel free to sign up on our visit calendar and come visit and get a feel for campus, see some of those housing options that you will have um, sometime this spring or summer. We are getting snow right now, but <laughs> it will hopefully be gone soon and we will receive some warm weather and some sunshine here. Um, again, if you have any questions about your next steps, feel free to private message anybody with a UMC name. Um, but next in our um, schedule is our current student panel. So I am going to stop sharing our PowerPoint screen and I am going to ask our current UMC students if they would be so kind as to turn on their cameras as we're gonna go through some introductions with them. So April, I'm going to start with you. You are first on my screen. So do you want to tell us who you are, where you're from, um, what major you're studying at Kirkston, and what year you are here? Yeah, of course. Um, so I'm April Klecker, and I'm uh, from Mapleton, Minnesota, so south of Mankato, southern Minnesota. I'm currently majoring in animal and equine science and minoring in egg business. Um, and then what was the last question? Or is that it? Name where you're from, major and year. So, yep, I think you're good. Oh, year, I'm a senior. I'm a senior. <laughs> Elena. 
Alrighty, hello everybody. My name is Elena Knott. I'm originally from Thief River Falls, Minnesota, so not far away from Crookston here. Um, and I'm majoring in agriculture education and I'm a junior this year. Tristan? I apologize. Hey guys. Um, so my name is Tristan Morneau. I am from uh, Dieppe, New Brunswick, uh, which is all the way out east in Canada. Um, uh, my major is Mark. I'm majoring double majoring, so I'm majoring in marketing and sports and rec management. Um, my year and my year is I am a sophomore. Maddie. Hi everyone. My name is Maddie. I'm from Glencoe, Minnesota, so that's about four and a half hours south of here. I am double majoring in early childhood and elementary education, and I am a junior this year. And Colin. Hi, my name is Colin Schulman. I am from Lake Lane, Minnesota. I am majoring in natural resources with a wildlife management emphasis, and this would be my freshman year. Awesome. So again, the chat is open. If any of you uh, prospective students have any questions that you want to get answered by um, our current student panel, I would encourage you if you have anything like really major specific, maybe hang on to that for the breakout room. But if you have anything general Kirkston related, um, feel free to throw that in the chat and we will get those questions answered. Um, so the first, you know, very generic question that I'm going to ask all of you and Maddie, I'll start with you on this one. Um, why did you choose UMN Kirkston. Yeah, so I originally came here um, in 10th grade, my high school year uh, for an FFA trip. And I kind of just fell in love with campus. I got to meet some of the um, professors here and I got a little tour of it. And I love the small feel of the campus and just really getting, getting to know um, the advisors and professors that I met while I was here on my trip. It just like made me feel comfortable. like. I could already tell that they cared and they were interested in getting to know me more and were just very caring, so. Colin, I'm gonna ask you that question next because you are going through your first year. So it wasn't too long ago where you were also kind of in this situation where making those college decisions. So why did you choose Crookston? So I first found out about the University of Crookston here from just general research online. I knew I wanted to do something natural resources and it was one of the first universities to pop up. So I looked into it, I liked what I saw and I scheduled an in-person tour, which this was during COVID. So the staff was so gracious as to actually schedule a personalized tour in person for just my family. So that was really amazing where I got to walk around campus and. I love the small town feel. The buildings are easy to find. Every You just kind of got used to it right away. It wasn't huge and confusing. And I heard so many good things about the NADAR program. And sure enough, I came here in the fall and it was amazing. I'm going to change up to my next question for Tristan. What keeps you busy outside of classes? Um, so I'm in two sports, so that kind of helps a lot. I do, I do hockey and cross country. Um, so that definitely has, keeps me busy. But besides that, there's so many options for students to get involved, uh, such as clubs on campus and, and, and really just activities. Um, I'm also on G, which is the uh, organization that runs all the events on campus. Um, so we try to usually have one to three events um, per, per week. Um, so that, that keeps students busy as well that during nighttime we have nighttime events and daytime events um, and weekend events even so um, we have we have events for uh, for pretty much every student um, and so there's just so many opportunities to to get involved and and get into clubs so there's uh, last year was kind of tough just because of covid um, but this year I can definitely see the change um, of, of people wanting you to get involved and wanting you to 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 not sit in your dorm and, and, and be bored all day long so, Elena, do you want to take that question too? What are you involved in outside of classes? Absolutely. So very similar to Tristan. Um, I'm in a lot of the clubs uh, throughout campus, a lot of the agricultural based clubs. It's really nice because as an ag ed major, I have to cover all the different areas of agriculture and I can really get into that in the clubs. Uh, but then I'm also in G with Tristan and that stands for Golden Eagle Entertainment. So we bring in comedians, we, um, we actually have an event that the snow might cancel tomorrow, but it's called Plate Smash, and you write all your stresses from the semester and you smash a plate. 
it's just a whole bunch of different things like that that we bring onto campus. And that keeps me pretty busy. April, what keeps you busy outside of classes? Um, so I am on the equestrian team, so I also do a sport. And being on the equestrian team, we do a variety of different things. We have shows, we have practices, we do workouts as a team. And we even do some fun just um, get-togethers for teammates and everything to get to know each other. Um, besides team, there's options for different jobs you can get on campus and off campus. I currently had one on and I have one off campus just for the extra time I have. And then besides that, any extra time I have, I like to participate in intramurals. I have done volleyball intramural. I like to play basketball. So I'll go to the wellness center, work out, uh, play sports, hang out with friends and pretty much hang out with everyone that's on campus. You meet a lot of new people and cool people that you can just hang out with. Um, Maddie, I'm gonna jump back to you for the next question. What has been your smallest and your biggest class on campus? Yeah, so my largest class was kind of one of the general classes I took freshman year. Um, and with that, I think we had about 30 to 40 people in my biology class. Um, now my smallest class, there are seven of us. And then my next highest class, there's only eight of us. So quite small class sizes. Colin, what about you? Smallest and biggest class you've had so far? Um, I'd say my biggest class was probably about 30 people tops. And my smallest is, yeah, probably around that 10 to 8 region. So the professors know everybody and it's pretty, pretty great. Awesome. Elena, what is your favorite place to eat, either on campus or off campus? Well, you can always, you never go bad with uh, a burger and fries from the Eagle's Nest um, on campus here. And that's, that's usually where everybody goes during the day, right in uh, where all of our classes are. But if I'm going out on the town, I really like to go to Drafts. It's a sports bar just down the road um, and it has some fabulous food. Tristan, favorite place to eat offer on campus? I would have to agree uh, with Elena on the Eagle's Nest. Um, I'm a big uh, club sandwich and uh, sweet potato fries, uh, but uh, the burger and the fries are certainly a, a really good options. Um, but if not off campus, I would. We just had we just uh, got a new restaurant in town. Is uh, Joe's Diner? Um, and actually, I think it just went to 24 hour or 24 seven. So uh, that's kind of cool, and I really enjoy that restaurant. So that's that's my place off campus. April, what did you not bring with you to college freshman year or maybe um, even sophomore year? What was something that you forgot to bring with that you realized is really important or is something that is on your must have packing list? Mm, that is definitely something I had to think about being that I'm a senior freshman year was good for four years away. Uh, but, you know, the more that I thought about it when I got here, I wish I had tools like a screwdriver, a hammer, pliers. You never know when you got to move your your bunk bed up. You're going to want to use a hammer to get it up or take a screw out. The other thing I wish I had and I had to go home to get were jumper cables. It gets cold up here and I had to jump my car like six or seven times my freshman year. So definitely it's good to have an extra set of jumper cables. Elena, I saw you kind of nodding your head. Is that on your list or do you have anything else that you have that was on your must-have packing list? Definitely jumper cables. I have a running tally. So far, I have given a jump to 13 cars uh, this year. That's a record high for me. But what I would have wanted to bring that I completely forgot was a bag, like a small suitcase, uh, something to bring your clothes back and forth to home. Or if you're in a club and they're saying, hey, let's go to Nebraska for a couple of days. Um, it's really nice just to have that, that little suitcase hanging around. And then also a pair of dress clothes, something that looks nice. You never know when you're going to need um, a pair of clothes to, to look a little bit nicer than the normal. This is one of my favorite questions, so I'm going to make everybody answer it. Tristan, I'm going to go with you next. Um, I think... The, the dorms are really nice. Uh, Heritage dorms are really nice. So it's just, so it's Skyberg. But um, one thing that I totally forgot, and the first night I slept so bad, 
because I didn't have a mattress topper. Um, that will save your life. Bring a mattress topper. Uh, it doesn't have to be a huge one, just at least something that you can put on the top of your bed because these beds are, I wouldn't say they're the best. The rooms are really nice, as, as, as I said, but the beds uh, are your typical dorm room beds. So bring a mattress topper. Um, it will it will uh, it'll be a lifesaver for you. Maddie? Yeah, for me, um, like April said, definitely a small toolkit. And then this year, I was very thankful that I remember to bring a small shovel because I had to dig my car out a few times. My car sits really low to the ground and just with the wind blowing, my car got stuck. Um, so a small shovel to keep in my car and then a heated blanket. Um, my roommate loves the room really cold. I do not like the cold at all. So definitely having a heated blanket has kept me warm on quite a few occasions. And Colin, what is on your must have packing list? Um, once again, just a small bag of tools. I was kind of surprised at the sheer amount of times I did in fact have a use for just a random screwdriver or hammer. So I definitely came in handy. And then for something I wish I had brought again was a fan. It's just kind of nice to have a little personalized fan. So that's definitely something I ran and grabbed from Walmart quick. Then I noticed we had a question in the chat here about the trap team in an archery league. So for the, uni the university trap team, you just have to get in contact with the head coach and his information should be on the university website under sports. And then for archery league, we do have archery targets in the wellness center that you can use anytime you'd like. I use them quite often. It's really nice. We do have bow and gun storage here on campus. So you can bring those with you and get them stored. So you have access to them if you want to. And we do not have an archery league, so to speak, but I am going to start working on getting an, art, an official archery club together. I know there's been one in the past, so we're going to try to get that program going again, and that should be a lot of fun this upcoming year. Perfect. I did see that question, too, and I'm glad you were able to answer it, and I was wondering if you would be able to help me with answering it, so thank you for taking that one on as well. Um, Elaine, I'm going to jump back to you for just a couple, got a couple last-minute questions coming in. Um, but what do you think UMN Crookston does to help make students successful on campus? Absolutely. So the biggest one that pops into my head is the staff and uh, the faculty. They're absolutely amazing at um, getting to know you and getting to know what you want to do. They're not, you're not just another number here at all. Um, and having that closer relationship is really nice when, when you're going through school and maybe you want to go a certain way and they're there the, to tailor it to you. So uh, I definitely think that the, the staff and faculty are the, the answer to success here. April, as a senior, I'm going to make you answer that question too. What do you think has made your last four years here at Crookston help you be successful? Um, I would definitely have to agree. Uh, a lot of the teachers that I've had, most of them are really willing to meet with you one on one. Like if you don't understand something, they're very willing to uh, come up with a meeting time and help you go through it as well. I also have really liked the hands on labs in like the equine and the, the animal science uh, program area. They do a lot of like repro labs on like hands on where you'll actually do the repro techniques with like the cattle or sheep or something and then like you'll do actual injections with horses instead of just lecturing it you'll actually learn how to do it physically and then I also like that the smaller class sizes you feel more comfortable to just ask a question because you know everybody in there and I guess some people that might make them more nervous but I always felt like with my friends you know if you if you didn't know it they probably didn't know it either so you always just felt more comfortable to be able to ask them and the teachers are more approachable. Awesome. Does anybody else want to answer that question quick? Okay. All right, um, we've just got a couple more questions. So again, if you do have another question, throw it in the chat quick. Otherwise, um, to kind of end things, I'll have each of you answer this one too. Um, what advice do you have for new incoming students, whether that be someone coming in um, from high school, just graduating in May, or maybe a um, 
transfer student who's making that new adjustment to a new campus, what advice do you have for new students? Maddie, I'll start with you. Yeah, so my main piece of advice would be um, just be yourself. Um, be who you are, um, be honest to yourself and try out for any or participate in any clubs you might have an interest in, whether or not it's like major related. Um, just really find some clubs that you're interested in and within those clubs or activities, you're gonna find a lot of people that you relate to and you're gonna get a good group of friends from that. So. Yeah. Colin? Um, if I had advice, I'd say it'd be embrace the chaos. It can be a whole lot moving into your college dorm and starting your freshman year of college. And the best thing you can do is just throw your whole self into that and just go for it. Talk to everybody you can, try and make friends with everybody join all the clubs. Like, it's just, it'll be so much easier if you if you just embrace your life head on and it's, you're going to love it here if you do that. Tristan. Uh, yeah. So I, I, this might be a big uh, skeptical, but I would say just put yourself in situations that you feel a bit uncomfortable. Um, I, one of my favorite things on, on campus at the moment is being part of G. Um, I'm the engagement coordinator. So I take care of most of the social media stuff with Elena actually, um, and all of uh, engagement. So communication stuff, that's all, that's what, that's what I do at G. So, um, but at first I was, I, I never thought I was, I would do that. I never thought I would want to do that actually. Um, I knew I, I, I want to do something in marketing obviously, but I never thought it would be the social media part of it. It would, I, so I was kind of like, all right, let's just try it out. Let's see what it is. Um, and then uh, I went to meetings for the full board. And then um, there was an opening for uh, the engagement coordinator um, on the exec board. And I was like, you know what? Might as well. Like, there's, there's no, there's, I'm, 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 I'm not going to lose anything out of this. Uh, plus, I'll get, um, I'll get some interview experience as well. So might as well. And then I got the job. And um it just kind of made me realize that how much I love social media and how much I like to um, kind of do that, that whole thing of marketing. So uh, like I said, just put yourselves in situations that you feel a bit uncomfortable and sometimes you'll, you'll, you'll regret it, but most of the times you'll take something good from it. So yeah, get yourself involved as well. That'll, that's definitely something that everybody tells you to do and they're right. So that's, that's my, uh, that's my piece of advice. Elena. All right, kind of echoing what everybody said, but you get what you put in. If you just want to go to classes, get your homework done, get your degree, get out, that's totally fine. You can absolutely do that. However, if you want to get more out of your college experience, join the clubs, take the opportunities. When your professor says, hey, I have some research options. Do you want to, do you want to maybe help me sort cows? Sure. You know, it's, it's just random things on this campus that really enrich your experience. But if you don't put yourself out there and you, sorry, um, if you don't put yourself out there uh, and make yourself available and seen, then you might not be able to, um, to get that full college experience. Um, but who knows? You'll see, hopefully. And April, to wrap up those questions, what advice do you have for incoming students? Um, I would definitely agree with every single one of those that they talked about. Um, I would say you don't know anybody coming in even as like a, a new incoming freshman or a transfer. You don't know anyone. So make friends. Even if you're scared and you're a shy person, like it's so easy to make friends here. You're welcome weekend when you get here. Everybody is welcoming. And like, it's so easy to make friends and be out there. Um, I definitely met some of my best friends freshman year and they will be with me for forever. Um, but at the same time, definitely uh, don't be afraid to participate in events on campus. Like if you like to play a sport, go do an intramural if you're not gonna be on a team. Like it, it's, you can have fun on campus. And then my last piece, I would say, if you're in class, ask the question, like I said earlier, Definitely, if you don't know it, they, there are chances that somebody else in the class don't know it either. Like, don't be, don't be scared to ask what you don't know. Awesome. 
All right. Well, thank you so much to our current Kirkston students. I know a couple of you um, will be hanging out for some of the breakout rooms too. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much for your input and insight into being a student on campus. So the next part of this event is also kind of our last part. So what we're going to do is in a minute, you are going to get a notification on your Zoom that says you have been invited to a breakout room. Again, we have designed these breakout rooms based on the major that you registered with um, that you are interested in for fall 2022. Um, and we will then kind of send everybody out into breakout rooms. Please feel free to again ask as many questions as you have during this time. This is again for you to learn about classes, to learn about what it's like in your program, to learn about labs, internships, what are alumni doing, kind of anything and everything like that. So go ahead and definitely, if you want to, in these smaller groups, um, unmute yourself or turn your cameras on to interact with other current students who you will probably be having classes with here this fall. Um, if you at any point are finished up with your breakout room but have a question for an admissions counselor, the admissions counselors will be staying what is called in this main room. So you can go ahead and leave your breakout room when you're done and return to the main session. Um, or if for some reason you think you might have been placed in the wrong breakout room, um, just come ahead back into this main room and we will get you resent into a different breakout room. Um, so again, thank you everybody. Once you are wrapped up with your major session, you are free to log off for the evening. Um, and then feel free to continue chatting us or sending us questions in the admissions office. So gonna have Paul go ahead and break us out. So again, you'll get a little notification. Go ahead and click to whatever your new breakout room will be.